Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Ubuntu Unity was a desktop environment for the Linux distribution Ubuntu. Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu, decided in 2017 to abandon Unity and return to the GNOME desktop environment instead. This decision led to some controversy in the Ubuntu and FOSS community. We now embark on a mental journey. What if Canonical had not abandoned the Unity desktop? I wish all of us a lot of fun. Let's go! Unity was a desktop environment developed by Canonical for the Ubuntu operating system. This desktop interface was first introduced in Ubuntu 11.04 Netty Nerval and was intended to provide a more modern and user-friendly alternative to previously used GNOME Shell. Unity was designed to improve the user experience and ease the transition from other operating systems such as Windows and OS X, nowadays named Mac OS. In 2017, Canonical surprised the Linux community by announcing that they would abandon Unity and return to the GNOME desktop environment instead. This decision had far-reaching implications for the Ubuntu and FOSS community and the Linux desktop market in general. Let's now take a closer look at what could have happened if Canonical had never made this decision. If Canonical had never decided to abandon Unity, the Ubuntu user interface would still be strongly characterized by Unity. Unity was characterized by its sidebar, the launcher here, and the global app menu, you see it here. These features were unique and provided a distinctive user experience. This means that users who use Ubuntu would still see these characteristic features in their daily work. The operation and function of Unity have evolved and improved over time to meet changing requirements and trends. Some users prefer the Unity user interface, while others might still opt to other desktops such as GNOME or KDE. The variety of desktop environments available is an important aspect of the Linux world and the choice of user interfaces is often a matter of personal taste and requirements. Unity introduced some of its own applications and integration functions that were specially tailored to the user interface. For example, there was the dash search function, which allowed users quickly find applications files and informations on the computer. Had Unity never given up, these applications and features might have been further developed and improved. The Dash concept would have involved to give users even more ways to quickly interact with the system. It may also have led to more developers creating applications specifically for the Unity environment. One possible consequence would have been that some of these applications and integrations would have become an integral part of Ubuntu, further enhancing usability and integration. This would have led to a stronger brand identity for Ubuntu based on Unity. Canonical's decision to abandon Unity left some members of the Ubuntu community disappointed. Some of them were big fans of Unity and appreciated the effort that have been put into developing this desktop interface. In response to this decision, some began to develop alternative Ubuntu derivatives that continued to use Unity as their desktop interface. These included projects such as Ubuntu Unity Remix. If Canonical have kept Unity, this would probably have led to a closer integration with the Ubuntu community. The shared vision of Unity as the primary desktop for Ubuntu might have brought the community closer together and led to greater collaboration. It is also possible that the community would have benefited from Unity by helping to further develop and improve the desktop environment. This could have led to wider participation and greater engagement from the Ubuntu community. The decision to abandon Unity allowed Canonical to shift resources to other projects. One focus was on improving GNOME integrations as Canonical decided to return to GNOME. 
This led to the introduction of GNOME Shell in Ubuntu and the end of a dedicated Ubuntu flavored called Ubuntu GNOME. If Unity had been retained, these resources would probably have had to be used for the further development and improvement of Unity. This would have resulted in Unity becoming more powerful, stable and feature-rich over time. However, it is difficult to predict how this would have affected other desktops and projects. A stronger focus on Unity could have led to other desktops in the Ubuntu world receiving less attention. This in turn could have led to other Ubuntu derivatives such as Kubuntu or Xubuntu, which are based on different desktop environments receiving less resources and attention. Canonical's decision to abandon Unity also had an impact on the Linux desktop market in general. Unity was one of the few desktop environments developed and supported by a big major Linux distribution. With the abandonment of Unity, the variety of available desktops in the Linux world was somewhat limited. If Canonical had kept Unity, this would have probably led to Unity being available in a wider range of Linux distributions. This would have increased user choice and may have helped to establish Unity as one of the main desktop environments in the whole Linux community. However, this could also have led to greater fragmentation in the Linux desktop market. Some distributions might have stuck on their own desktop environments while others would have adopted Unity. This would have led to a more heterogeneous landscape in which users would have had different user experiences depending on the distribution. Overall, it is difficult to predict how the Linux world would have evolved if Canonical had never decided to abandon Unity. Unity was a unique desktop interface with its own advantages and disadvantages. Canonical's decision to return to GNOME reflected the preference of the company and its developers at the time. But there are many different scenarios of how things could have gone if the decision had never been made. The choice of desktop environments is often a matter of personal taste and the Linux community is characterized by its diversity and the ability to customize the user interface according to one's own preferences. Unity is still favored by some Ubuntu users and there are alternative Ubuntu derivatives that continue to support it. In the world of open source software development, there is always room for different approaches and ideas and yesterday's decisions often have an impact of tomorrow's developments. After all, Unity has survived and shines today with the official flavor Ubuntu Unity as an official Ubuntu edition. So if you've been holding out on Ubuntu 16.04 LTS for a long time or were a fan of Unity in general, here is your port of call if you will. Ubuntu Unity is also available in the 2204 LTS version, which comes with at least three years of maintenance. In 2024, Ubuntu Unity 2404 LTS is expected to be released. So for all Unity fans out there, things aren't looking too bad for you these days. If you like this video and this video format, then I'd be happy to receive a free channel subscription, a thumbs up and you're welcome to activate the bell. As always, your opinion is very much appreciated in the comments. Take care and see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.